Good morning. Thank you for tuning in to SJ336 at St. John 336. This is Stephanie Jeanette, and we're on day 114 of a daily devotional. These videos, I am um, featuring my book, A Daily Devotional, designed to help you grow closer to Christ, Jesus, you, your family, and your neighbors, your church, your loved ones. Suggested scriptural ref, uh, readings for this study. Exodus 36, the entire chapter. Nehemiah 4, 6. Philippians 2, 16, that's 1, 6. Philippians 2, 16. Genesis 2, verse 2. James 1, 25. Proverbs 31, the whole chapter. And St. Matthew Chapter 6, verses 19 through 21. And I will read Nehemiah 4, 6 and James 1, 25. So built we the wall, and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof, for the people had a mind to work. I'm going to read that up again. So we, uh, so built we the wall, and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof, for the people had a mind to work. That's a very inspiring story. The book of Nehemiah, some Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, toward the beginning of the Word of God. And so, um, I would suggest reading that entire book, but at least chapter four. Meaning for this study. Of course, eventually you want to read the whole Bible. James 1, 25. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. And for the English Standard Version. So we built the wall, and all the wall was joined together to have its height, for the people had a mind to work. But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. And so the song for uh, suggested worship, suggested song for worship and praises, He Reigns, Awesome God. YouTube upload November 2nd, 2009. He reigns, awesome God. YouTube upload November 2nd, 2009. And for the entry. The discussion and biblical application regarding themes surrounding finances and career goals is a perfect time to flesh out anything that doesn't belong regarding our value system. During these family prayer and information forum sessions, we'll see just how important or not the name brand is considered to be in keeping one's friends or perhaps even keeping one's job. You'll also note the values the adults of the family have managed to instill in the youth, be it by direct instruction or neglect. This is where the concerns of the inner man is to be expounded above that of the outward appearance. This is also where males will have the opportunity to confess to being so led or misled by the outward appearance of a female, the concerns of pornography and other addictions. The enemy will use whatever to keep us from properly stewarding any monies and resources that God Almighty lends to us. And we have to constantly check ourselves for misdirected values. 
Again, when we focus on that which is good in the sight of Christ Almighty, we are less likely to veer off of his narrow path, though we will be all the more tempted in unique and subtler ways. In the end, every participant should have a better idea of the attitudes towards money that she or he needs to work on and pray about, an idea of the amount of income she or he needs to make in order to fulfill what she or he perceives to be God Almighty's expectations, or at least one's healthy pursuits, since the calling may or may not have been specifically experienced or recognized as of yet. This is a time to review the plethora of vocations currently available and likely persisting in the future. This is also the best time for the elders to share in their financial struggles and their testimonies of how the Lord God Almighty provided where, did not, where there did not seem to be a way. For instance, during the time of Bob Barker's upbringing, I do not imagine that there was anything going on that would hint at or give him a future idea of his career of being a successful game show host. I could be wrong, maybe Groucho Marx's his quiz show. Of course, this is also the time to do some real bean counting so that all may appreciate the value of a dollar or a peso or yuan or euro or mark. These are resources for a salary, uh, there are resources for salary comparisons um, likely indebtedness per educational track pursued, national and international costs of living comparisons, etc. Um, I would suggest that you aim to create your own business. So you want to develop whatever talent God has given you and offer it to the world as a contribution that someone will pay you for. Okay? something legal and godly. Well, thank you for tuning in to SJ336. This is Stephanie Jeanette, and this has been day 114 of a daily devotional. Have an excellent day.